Hey y'all, well, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Birmingham, Alabama. And I am at one of my favorite tower structures. I don't, it's not maybe an odd thing to say, but I always like those tourist things like the Orange Tower in Florida, Citrus Tower in Florida, or the Sombrero Tower south of the border. But I think the best viewing tower in all the south is this. Vulcan, the legendary god of fire. Now here, and in Birmingham in 1904, this was built for the World Fair in honor of the steel industry here in Birmingham. And apparently he was shuffled around. No one knew what to do with him when finally he was given his own tower and erected here at the highest point in Birmingham. And if you look at him, he's got a spear in his hand. Apparently the spear was actually lost for a while. And uh, from what I understand, at one point it actually used to light up to let you know if there was a traffic accident, which that's actually kind of morbid. And apparently like, they actually used to advertise different things. I think he held a pickle in his hand. At one time he held a glass of Coca-Cola. And here at Vulcan you can Take the stairs all the way to the top to go see Vulcan, or you can be lazy like me and take the elevator. Now you notice, the first thing you'll see getting off the elevator is Vulcan's naked ass. <laughs> So yes, in Birmingham, Alabama, at the highest point, the highest tower, there is a naked, burly man overlooking the city. Check out this amazing view of Birmingham, Alabama. It's actually really hard to get a good look at Vulcan because just an awkward positioning. I don't know if there's like a, a spike on the end of his spear. I wonder what that is for. Is it like a lightning rod probably? It would be pretty epic to watch a lightning bolt hit Vulcan's spear. That would be awesome. I'm so glad he's wearing an apron because if he was not wearing that apron, he would be flashing his giant spear to all of Birmingham. The coolest things in the world are always created for the World's Fair. There's the Sun Sphere, the Eiffel Tower, H. H. Holmes Murder Castle, and Vulcan. You can see how big Vulcan is from those normal sized people up there. Now it's an absolute honor to place my Snorlax on Vulcan. <laughs> Alright, we are in a Vulcan museum. There's a lot of cans of beans. Check out this mini Vulcan. Now to get some real perspective on how massive Vulcan is, they've placed Vulcan's foot here. Look at that, his big toe is almost as big as my massive head. Some different pictures from different areas in Birmingham. Oh, what is that? Is a ram-headed demon monster. Check out all this merch. You can get Vulcan socks. Vulcan mints, Vulcan shot glasses. Right, you have a Vulcan bobblehead here, but if you actually turn him around, he has a bobble ass as well. That's more than a little ridiculous. Rosebud. 
Vulcan plushies. The only stuffed, half-naked man wearing an apron I've ever seen. It's like wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. It's like wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy Vulcan. All right, I had to come back because I love visiting this place at night. View up here at night is insanely beautiful. Let's go inside. This is inside of the pillar of Vulcan. This is locked. I guess this is the secret hatch up to Vulcan himself. All right, I appreciate you guys joining me on my lovely visit to the magnificent Vulcan. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, those links are below. And if you'd like to donate a few dollars on Patreon, I'd be happy to send you some postcards while I'm out on my road trips. So, for now, say goodnight, Vulcan. <laughs>